Fires are one of the most common emergencies, both at home and in the workplace. At the University of California, Riverside, there is a fire alarm almost every day, mostly due to burnt food. Knowing how to use a fire extinguisher can save your life one day. Fire extinguishers are for fighting small fires. If there is a fire, follow your building's emergency plan. Designated trained employees will evaluate the situation and decide if it's safe to fight the fire. If the fire is too large or conditions are unsafe, all people should evacuate. Make sure to check the markings on the label to confirm that the extinguisher you have is suitable for the type of fire you're facing. The most common classes of fire are A, B, C, and K. Class A fires involve ordinary combustibles, such as wood, cloth, and paper. Class B fires involve flammable liquids, such as gas, oil, and some paints. Class C fires involve energized electrical equipment, such as appliances, wires, TVs, and computers. And Class K fires involve cooking oils and grease. Remember to conduct a visual inspection. Check the tag to verify that regular monthly inspections are taking place on the extinguisher. Then make sure to check that the extinguisher has a pin, a seal on the pin, a nozzle that is clear of debris, and a needle in the green area. This needle tells you whether the extinguisher has enough chemical to put out a flame. A standard fire extinguisher contains about 5 pounds of a multi-purpose dry chemical. Although non-toxic, seek medical evaluation for any discomfort from accidental inhalation. Not a lot of powder is needed to extinguish a fire, however the powder does make quite a mess. Therefore, make sure to have a clear escape route that you can see, because if the fire extinguisher discharges, then you may not see between the fire smoke and the agent in the air, and you may become disoriented. It takes about 45 seconds to totally discharge a fire extinguisher. If you have more fire than the extinguisher can put out, don't attempt to fight it. Just make sure to report it and evacuate the area. A good rule of thumb is that if the fire is larger than a trash can, don't attempt to fight it with a fire extinguisher. Instead, evacuate and notify the fire department. Once you confirm that your fire extinguisher is acceptable for use, remember these simple guidelines. First, before using, make sure to use the open palm right hand technique. It's important to note that fire extinguishers are made for right-handed persons, and having an open palm prevents you from inadvertently squeezing the handles. The pin on the unit cannot be pulled out while it's being squeezed. When using an extinguisher, use a pass technique. The P stands for pull the pin. The pin is attached with a plastic seal. You'll have to twist the pin to release it, then pull it out. The black retaining strap will hold the pin to the extinguisher. Next, use your left hand to remove the nozzle from the holder. This will help you perform the A and pass, which stands for aim at the base of the flame. Then remember S, which stands for squeeze. Approach the fire, making sure to stand about 8 to 10 feet away from it. Squeeze the handles together. Note that the bottom handle doesn't move, and instead it's the top one that you'll need to squeeze. When you squeeze the extinguisher, the chemical will discharge, pushing the flame off, allowing the material to cool, and smothering the fire with the chemical. Finally, the last S stands for sweep side to side. In summary, remember the pass technique when using a fire extinguisher, that is, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. A brochure of the information you just viewed can be sent to you upon request by visiting www.ehs.ucr.edu. This message has been brought to you by Environmental Health and Safety, helping you prevent accidents, promote your health, and protect the environment. For more information, visit www.ehs.ucr.edu.